There we go, hardware mute. And everything else was so seamless. <laughs> Welcome to Hands On With, with me, Christian Chiller. You can find more about me at christianchiller.com or the various channels you are watching on. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, say hello in the chat. I can see a few of you are watching. Say hi. If the topic interests you, hello. Hello, Slim DevOps. <laughs> Very appropriate. Um, and yes, today I'm going to be looking at Slim, Docker Slim, Slim AI. They're actually kind of at the moment uh, somewhat related, as we'll come to in a minute. And what does it help me do? It helps you create production-ready containers, optimize Docker containers, do a bunch of things with your Docker containers to make them better, make them run better. So we're going to focus mostly on the open source project really today, um, which is pretty much the main thing you come to. Uh, this is sort of blue button here that says get the app. There's another one. There's many blue buttons that say get the app. And for the time being, that mostly takes us to the open source project, which is good. So let's click that, open it up here. Now, I just realized I didn't actually have my screen shared. It's not a, I was, it's actually my birthday today. <laughs> so maybe I'm a little bit distracted. There we go. Slim.ai, developer tools to help create production ready containers quickly. You were just looking at me, clicking around. And um, yes, blue button I was referring to, get the app, just takes us straight to this GitHub project right now. Quite a popular GitHub project. Um, and whenever I do anything with Docker, it always kills my CPU while streaming. I've got fans going like crazy. Actually, it's not too bad. You can also see it's quite warm here in Berlin today. 28 degrees. I don't know what that is in the other one, but it's hot. So computer's probably struggling. Anyway, I digress. Let's have a look. I'm going to mess around with a couple of Docker images. I'm going to... I'm wondering what ones to work with. Um... I think I'm going to dive right in and try a hmm, try a more complex one. So I work a lot with an open source project called M3, which is quite a quite a complex uh, application and image. And there's a whole tutorial here that I will sort of try to follow along with the optimized image. Let's see how that works. I've got a feeling this may not work, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's jump into here first. So Docker Slim. Make your containers better, smaller. Not always the same thing, but um, we'll go with it for now. More secure, maybe. Do less to get there for an open source. Don't change anything. We minimize it by up to 30 times, making it secure too entirely sure how optimizing makes things more secure. I guess getting rid of various uh, dependencies and things like that, we shall see. Actually, if anyone is interested, and I will put the link right here on YouTube afterwards, I actually did interview the people behind Docker Slim on my podcast and video stream a couple of weeks back. So you can also go there and find out a little bit more if you're interested in hearing a bit more about the product. So we don't need to change anything. Um, we use the base image we want, use the package manager you want, don't have to do anything else. Um, all sorts of things. Actually, I reckon maybe we should start with something. Let's follow the getting started guide first. Maybe start with a, uh, a simpler Docker image first. And let's just leave the rest for now. Just gonna kind of, um, yeah. <laughs> just, just kind of dive in, I think. So, there it is. So Arch Linux, quite a popular option. Here is my Docker dashboard here. I think I can because it's a web application, basically. I can zoom in on it to make it a bit more readable. Good. Here's my terminal. Make sure everything is visible. OK, let's do this. I kind of feel like I know there's another Docker image I could play around with, but not actually, I can't remember off the top of my head. So let's just stick with um, this one for now. Oh, actually, I know, I've got one. Let's try this one first, a simpler one. We'll, we'll go up in levels, I think. So this first pulls the image to my local machine. Because it's 134 megabytes, it's not big, but it's big enough. 
and then we can run this docker slim build uh, to a new target the tag what does the tag mean um where are the actual documentation ah here we go let's see what does tag mean uh, learn more Oh, that takes us back there. Okay. So, <laughs> um, tag. What does tag mean? Hmm. What was it? Tag. I guess the docker. Ah, here we go. Custom tag for the generated image instead of the default value. Okay, that makes sense. Not quite sure why. We're calling it curl though. We'll see what we're doing in a minute. Um, and now I saw this up here about HTTP probe false and then the exec, which is the command. Okay, so this is running a curl command. Okay, that makes sense inside the image. The HTTP probe false was mentioned just up here. We interact with the application when your HTTP probing is enabled, enabled by default. Okay, well, we're disabling it. It's a little bit lost on me right now, but let's leave that as it is for now. So we have our local image. Let's on that. Oh, I need to install Docker Slim. <laughs> that's interesting. I that, that's actually ah, there we go. That is interesting feedback there. Um, I've got to a tutorial, and I don't actually see. Anything telling me to install it until I get right down here. So that's maybe an update I might suggest to the README. Um, latest Mac binaries. I wonder if I can use Homebrew. That would be nice. Uh, oh, it's a download. Let's see. Sometimes I find with Homebrew, see what happens. Fingers crossed. Actually, hang on, I don't need to make my own drum roll sound. I do actually have a uh, Hopefully that was working and I wasn't just laughing at my own joke. <laughs> no, it isn't working. I'm laughing at my own joke. Okay, I haven't set that up yet, but there we go. It is working. So my anticipated drum roll was could have been useful. Good, we have Docker Slim. There we go. Right, so let's run this command again. That would be, I oh know, it is mentioned here about Homebrew. So there we go. Oh, need to be enhanced to work properly. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder what that might mean. We'll find out soon, maybe. Okay, things are happening. Let's just go back to this here. Doing things. Interested to know what's actually happening here. It's telling us to join a Gitter channel. Changing. Uh, none of this is making a massive amount of sense to me, but. Uh, uh -huh. Your version is out of date. Yeah, only by 1.1. 1. 1. Well, I think we'll leave it at that. So I think. It's done, I think. Let's see. Uh, so this is the new, actually, I mean, we can also jump into, oh, that's interesting. Why? Ah, here we go. So yes, wow. That went from 381.75 down to 17.71. It's quite impressive. Uh, I do remember there used to be, I think I mentioned this on the, the podcast as well, actually, a tool that let you look at the layers. I feel like when we were talking, there was something that helps us with that. Let's actually see. There is this file here. Um, there is a file. Where is that file? Is that just local? Um, I don't know. It's telling me there's a file. We're not oh, here it is. Here it is. There. Yes, it is. So I don't know what it's going to show me, but let's have a look. Um, I have a bad feeling this is going to... Oh no, good, excellent. 
So what is it telling me? It's giving me an output, source images, digests. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's kind of a lot going on here. I don't know how much this is really telling me. This would be nice to visualize, which I think is what is coming in the kind of um, SAS version of the tool. But there we go. Okay. Anyway, and now we can run this command. And yeah, it worked. I think you can kind of see the result here. Here. And yeah, I mean, we already looked at Docker images. Actually, it's interesting because Arch Linux seems to have shrunk um, bizarrely. And then the optimized version has increased from this. Anyway, I think that's probably <laughs> maybe because I'm running a different version. It could be all sorts of different reasons. But for the sake of a few mega, well, point megabytes and megabytes here and there, I don't think we'll worry too much. Okay, good. All right. So next i am going to try something from scratch i'm actually going to use an image of a project that i have mentioned a few times here um i'm still here uh, i have my new lights as well now but i'm getting a little bit of shadow back there i need to figure out but uh, my beautiful face is uh, <laughs> is in profile okay so i'm actually going to switch to a project i do some maintenance of some contributions to Veil. Here we go. So there is a Docker image for Veil. Um, let's jump into the documentation here and let's try optimizing that one. It's a Go binary um, that runs, I think, in a reasonably slim Docker image anyway. But let's, let's see how that works. Docker, here we go. So we basically want to emulate the same steps which was to pull, uh, build, and well, I mean, there we can see what's going on, I suppose. So let's pull that image. I don't think it's, it's gonna be that large, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Um, estimate around 40 megabytes, maybe. Let's see. Um, 95.99. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so now we need to try and understand these commands a bit here. Um, Docker slim build target. Um, Target and the t oh, I see the target is the source. I think, I think. Um, let's check that. It's annoying that the commands are all the way down here. Uh, target, target, target. Why am I not ah? The target image. Yes. No. It's going to be the source image. Hmm. Oh, there's also this X-ray command. Let's come to that in a minute. I think that might be what I was referring to earlier. Anyway, let's, I think the target is the source image, I hope. Um, so it would be fail latest, I guess, I think. No, it is with the first thing as well. Okay. And, oops, oh dear, what happened there? Ah. Again, sorry about that. My typing foo is a little all over the place today. Hopefully that won't happen again there. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And tag. Okay. Let's give it a tag of veil optimized. I'm not really going to run it. The HTTP probe thing I still don't entirely understand, but I think we'll just right now, but let's just keep it as 
disabled for now. And yes, I can see there's a typo there. I'll go back and correct that in a second. So that should be it, I think. Um, yes. Things are happening. Get the feelings won't optimize quite as much. User input. Ah. Enter when you are done using the container. Hmm. Interesting. It's still going anyway. Okay, something happened. Ah, so here's the x ray to learn more about the optimized image. This is kind of interesting as well. I suppose it's because um, it's just the output of the command, but it would be, it could kind of be maybe be a little bit easier to see, maybe. Um, and. Oof. Where did it... Ah, here it is. 15 megabytes. So actually pretty good. Um, so let's try this X-ray. Um, here we go. So Docker Slim is build is what we just did. X-ray is the analysis to know what's inside it lint is best practices so this is i suppose where the aspects about building better images coming from it's not just about slimming it down it's also about some other things so let's have a look at x-ray let's do a couple of different containers and see is there a an example somewhere no not really so we're just gonna have to plug away and see what we get. So Docker, not Docker Klim, Docker Slim X-Ray. And we need, I guess the lint X-Ray, the target container image, pull if it's, if it's not available, show the pull logs, the plugs, I like that as a command. Um, and a whole bunch of other things, but I think we can, I think that we don't even really need the target. So let's first uh, go for the original um, bum, 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 Arch Linux one. Have a look at that. What are we gonna get? What it's gonna look like is what I'm most intrigued by. Okay, so it's the report again. So maybe we already had that. Does build run x-ray at the same time? Maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe it does. Um, build. Not entirely sure. Maybe it does, but let's open this file again and see if we can interpret it in some way. So X-ray, show what's in the container image and reverse engineer its Docker file. Okay, so I think that makes sense. So it's something like, zoom in a bit here. I think that maybe is different. I think it wasn't the x-ray last time. I can't really tell to have overwritten it now. Um, type x-ray state done, target reference, source image, size. How can we see what's in it? That's what I'm trying to understand. I'm not sure how I interpret this file to see what's in it. I'm seeing the various commands and things. I mean, I could open the Docker file to see this. Image layers, here we go. This is what we're interested in. Um, hmm. So there's a bunch of libraries showing us the size in bytes, I guess. Libgo, strangely. A whole bunch of libraries. Fortran library, I guess that is one that we can definitely strip out, I suppose. 
image magic, I guess, something like that. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of libraries here. I suppose this is interesting because I was maybe expecting to see other Docker images, but that could just be this image, I guess. A whole bunch of libraries, yes, a lot of libraries. It will take up a surprising amount of size. Um, what else is in here? Yeah, just a lot of libraries. Some of it I'm not entirely sure how to interpret, but get the idea. Let's try then, um, I wonder if we can change the file name. So we can, oh, so the report is global. Interesting, so X-ray is kind of done by default, I guess. Uh, show the layer changes. All report console. Show details for selected layer at a manifest. Let's just um, let's just run it for now. So we want the curl one, I think, wasn't it? Um, yes, it's in use. Interestingly, hmm. no, it's not. Okay. Curl. Let's see. So, I guess we'll see a lot less of those libraries. I mean, it won't really keep track of what exactly. I guess the file will be shorter, hopefully. It seems like it, maybe. Let's see. Let's expand this out a bit. Um. Yeah, I'm scrolling down it a lot quicker. Layers. So cryptography layers, C maybe. Yeah, there's a lot less I don't see. Yeah, that, no, there's a couple more here. Curl, yes, that makes sense. Um, I don't see the Go library. I don't see the Magic library. It's mostly security and, that, and that's basically it. HTTP, that makes sense. So it just got rid of a lot of libraries we're not using. Interesting, okay. So let's maybe try on the fail one, just out of interest, see what's in there. I don't think there's much in there, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, but let's give it a go, and then we'll try one of the others and dig around what else we can do. Okay, It'll be interesting to try on a really big one, although Docker images by virtue shouldn't really be that big, I suppose. I don't know why that keeps happening. This won't take too long. Okay. I'm guessing it's the same file. Yeah. Keep it open, I suppose. Just let it refresh. Okay. Let's see. So it's using Alpine, which is already quite slim. Um. see the commands this is what it was waiting for because it runs by default because it mounts a by default it mounts a local volume and then runs the command i'm not going to really go into the details of what this document does but yeah layers here we go so we have crypto layers again i guess this is coming from alpine busybox um something else <laughs> SSL, yeah, I mean, certs, it's all kind of standard stuff. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything that I suppose isn't needed, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, it did reduce somewhat. Um, installer, I mean, it's probably not needed. I don't know if it really needs OpenSSL and things like that. Let's see, let's see what happens. So we'll go for, what did I call it? I called it... Bum, bum, bum. Call it Veil Opt. Let's see. Yeah, I reloaded. We've already lost some lines. We can see that. Uh, well, oh, wow. Actually, I don't think there's any 
layers in there now. Well, there's a few, but the binary. Basically, it. none of those other things are in there, which is interesting. That's actually, I mean, it was a, a small image in the first place, but it really kind of demonstrates what's happened there. It stripped out all the things that were not necessary. Okay, cool. So I think you get the idea of the two basic commands. There's also a, a lint um, profile. I'm not quite sure what that is, but yeah, versions. Okay, a few other things. Let's try this on uh, what, an image that I think is going to be much bigger. It's also not on the Docker Hub, which we'll see if that's about to cause problems or not. So let's pull this image. And close these now. Okay. Docker pull. What's up with my keyboard? I keep getting these double pastings. Sorry about that. All right, let's pull it. I think this is going to be a fair bit bigger, which is good. <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe not. Hmm, okay, that was not as big as I thought. Um, maybe this could be disappointing. Um, where is it? Oh, it's only 74 megabytes. Okay, I kind of want something bigger. Hmm. Ooh. What could we try? I wonder if it optimizes based on the command because that curl command, I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing there's kind of, I mean, it's open source, of course. <laughs> let's see. No, let's build steps, not quite what I wanted. Um, inspect the running application. Yes. So if you were to use something really large, like I guess Ubuntu, and do the same thing. Let's do the equivalent then with that, because I think this, this is actually a waste. Well, let's just do it whilst we're here, but I, I think this is not going to be so interesting. Let's, uh, I'm going to do that in a second. Let's just quickly do this, just out of pure interest, just whilst we're here. And um, then let's try the, I don't know why I'm obsessed with typing Docker Klim. Uh, build. So we can just, Back through these, put it M3 optimized. I guess we need to do this one again. Let me go down here. That looks doo -doo 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 -doo. yep. So maybe this isn't going to do too too much. It's a Go uh, binary, but I guess it's built, which is probably why. Anyone has any questions or things they want to say whilst we're just waiting here, please say hi. Drop a suggestion if you like. Is it input required? Hmm, I'm not quite sure what that is actually. Oops. Okay. And we end up with, I think by the time I've set up the drum roll to come out through the right channel, it'll be done. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, well, I keep talking about setting it up, so let's actually just do it. Uh, no, I want this. Da, da, da. That's weird. Uh, taking a surprisingly longer time, which is interesting. Um, oh, there we go. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, so the original was seven about 75 meg the optimized one is bigger hmm. <laughs> now that is interesting and that is strange huh they got bigger now that is weird i'm intrigued i think we need to let me just double check that am i looking in the right place yeah 194, and as I misread down here, huh, that got bigger. That is interesting. I wonder why. Let's have a look at the, this is gonna help us. I'm not sure if this is, maybe I should still run the x-ray. Let's see. This is the original, I think. It's Alpine again. Uh, I'm not, 
Let's run the x-ray just to be sure. Interesting, no? I wonder why. Exposing the various bits here, entry points, layers. Yeah, these are kind of um, binary nodes. You can't do too much about those. Huh. SCD temp files. Interesting. That's interesting. I wonder if they're supposed to be there. Databases. I mean, this is clearly getting to the original image, but but why is it? What made it so? Large these, I guess. So let's go back to the original. Uh, what was the URL here? And let's see. Interesting, though. I wonder if that's the case. Why? We get down to the layers. Be down here somewhere, I guess. Maybe. Down we go. A lot of uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, it's, it's interesting because there's a lot of dependencies here that were stripped out. I wonder why that is. It's very odd. Uh, where is it? Change. Where's the layers? Hmm. Um. Yeah, that is interesting. That is one for the Docker Slim team to investigate. Why did we get those? Was that because of the input? Because it ran, so it initiated the database or something like that, maybe? I don't know. Hard to say. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, that was an interesting example. Uh, let's quickly, I'd like to just do, I mean, it's relatively straight. Obviously, the, the, the project is, is very useful, but relatively, I mean, at the level I'm looking at it, relatively straightforward. So I'm just going to do uh, one more, and you can see a lot of examples here um, for making build processes and all sorts of things like that. I'm just going to try one more. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do here that I've barely scratched the surface of. Um, I haven't actually tried running the containers yet. That's actually, <laughs> that's actually a good idea. Um, let's just quickly do that with the fail one actually. So actually should check it works. That's an interesting point. We should really check that actually. Um, usage. Um, no, that's, that's actually help. Uh, hmm. uh, I'm sure there used to be a, <laughs> a, uh, an example somewhere of how to use with Docker. Uh, Docker. Let's jump in from that maybe. Uh, oh dear, I've ended up getting myself down a uh, rabbit hole and I didn't want to go down. Um, Docker Hub. What's the link for the Docker Hub? Ah. I just want to check that some of the runs we've op some of the ones we have optimized work. Let's see. Okay, that'll do it. And I'm sure there's a couple. Ah, there we go. So uh, we can copy this in and replace with the optimized. Oh, this isn't this isn't going to work. I need some example text actually. Um, actually, I know I do have a test file here. I think. I used to, yeah, test MD. So this will run. Okay, good. So let's. Mm, again, not wanting to get into too much detail about the construction of this, but we don't need uh, any of these lines. I don't think. <laughs> this is 
with trepidation that I'm going to mess this up. Uh, let's just uh, right. E. There we go. Um, oof. I think this. This is where sometimes bringing in external things. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Let's see. Uh, well, anyway, it worked. I got an error, but that shows it worked. So, <laughs> so, so that's good. That is an example that uh, it worked. So that's okay. Uh, it's looking for an any file, which means the image worked. So that's good. Okay, let's. Uh, I'd just like to quickly wrap up with one more example. I do have a comment here. Yeah, uh, actually, the slim people have replied. And yes, I think it's because uh, the app created a database, which is interesting because I'm sure there's something in the documentation to mention how to get around this because by building the image, we kind of ran the application, I guess, which initialized something which then caused extra weight. So I'm sure there's a way around that. Um, but I won't dig in too much into that right now. Let's just try one more example. I'm going to come back up to the original up here and replace a few things. I want to get a really big image. <laughs> so far, everything's been kind of too small. I want to uh, let's get something really big. Uh, he says, hoping that the Ubuntu image is still relatively large. Uh, I don't want minimal. No, I don't want minimal. I want a little big, a little big. Uh, okay. I want the biggest Docker image I can find. Um, uh, how, how will I tell? Um, what can we pull? Power PC. Ooh, no. Um, let's just go for 2004. There we go. Or latest. What's latest? What's the current latest? Uh, does it say? Xenial. 2004, I guess. Xenial will do. Uh, oh no, that's not latest. Oh, I don't know. Let's just go for the current one. I'm going to be here all day. Okay, pull Ubuntu. Default latest. Good. <laughs> so this... Come on, I want this to take a while. No, well, I don't want it to take a while because it's boring to watch, but I want it to be big. And it's still not that big. <laughs> Everyone's optimizing their Docker images these days. What gives? Uh, 77 megabytes. Oh man, it's a little bigger. Arch was actually bigger. <laughs> Arrgh, I need something big. What else can we do? Um, uh, how can I get it as big as possible? There was actually an example in here. Let's, uh, here we go. Ubuntu 14.04, interesting. Jesse, Ubuntu 14.04, Python images. So that's the actual example running. I'd have to think of something to run. Um, this is where it gets interesting as well because you actually, it's dependent on the application. If I could think of a more interesting application to run, <laughs> whatever, curl script, which is always going to work quite well. Um, do I have a Ruby thing, a Node thing? Ah, a Node thing. I could try with a Node application. So yeah, let's... Let's try with an Ubuntu node application. Uh, it's interesting that they're using 14.04 here, but let, let's go with it, let's go with it. Um, okay, it's pretty old to be fair. Maybe we'll try 20.04. Don't really wanna, that seems a bit too too old to me. 20.04, I think 20.04 is an LTS, I think. And then we will run a node script to see what happens. Um, did that work? That didn't take very long. I guess still, still so small. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ubuntu's obviously done a lot since uh, since this. Let's let's try De Debian then. I don't think Debian are quite so invested in um, in optimizing things as as Canonical are. I want something big. Curse you, Canonical. Okay, this is looking a bit better already. The first layer is 54 megabytes. Huh. Wow, 
Maybe they've all been running 129. Okay, that'll do. Maybe they've all been running um, Dr. Sinem. <laughs> All right, let's now, um, now let's go back up to the example up here. So we actually need to build with the command, I think. Okay, let's see. So what can I run? I can run, uh, I have a lot of, a lot of um, node things actually. Let's kind of think what, what could work. <laughs> uh, what could work? Mm. Could I run? No. I might try one of my, where is it? It's in here. Um, I was just looking at it the other day. Why can I not find it? Yes, here we go. I was looking right at it. Um, this one. I don't know. Let's give it a go. I, I don't know if this is really going to work. I've got a bad feeling something about this isn't going to work. But let's give it a go. Uh, Docker Slim Build Target will be the current image. So that is Debian Jesse. And then the tag is we'll go for Debian node. Um, this HTTP probe again will just false that. I can have a slightly strange feeling this image may need this, but and then this exec bit, which is where I hope I'm going to get this. Oh, I'm going to have to copy in files and all sorts of things. Oh, oh. This is where my Docker foo gets a bit broken. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think, how do we copy in a working directory? Okay, let's have a look. Getting a bit tight on time as well. Let's have a look. Strange. Um, uh, so how? I get hmm, interesting. So how do I do something like that? Docker has been used with Node. Okay. Node. Yes, we see examples. Docker connect options, sample node app. But how do I test it with my own? Ah, maybe, unless it's probe again. Um, or maybe this is what, maybe this is something else. Hmm, how, maybe I don't, maybe I don't actually run my This is kind of an example here, but how do I get that? I have to know it's there, I suppose, in the image, which I don't know in this particular case. Hmm, that's interesting. I... So this is sort of basically saying that I'd have to use a custom image, which I don't really have right now. So I wonder if there's anything living inside or if I can run a, I can run a, uh, I have to remember how to actually run just a, like a, an echo command on, um, Oh, not a script, but I actually just want to run something. I have to remember to do that. Uh, it's not. Uh, just maybe, just from memory. Uh, like node echo. Uh, 
Is the echo correct? No, console.log. Let's do console.log. Oh, fine. Whatever. <laughs> We're not here to test typing. <laughs> Uh, I think I need to change that. Ah, oops. <laughs> okay, I'm... Um... I can't remember how to do this. Um, damn. Can we? We'd have to echo. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe I need a better example. Ah. Evaluate. I know this is incredibly risky, but this is just a demo. Just a demo, and I'm only console dot logging, so can't be that dangerous. Um. Yes. Good. Perfect. So we'll exec that. I think I'm going to get in. Uh, Quoting hell right now, but um, where is it? Where are we? Let's close that again. Get back up to our example up here. I really want to turn this into a <laughs> proper documentation. Okay, how are we going to? Ah, I can probably. Oh no, I still. Yeah. Ooh, I get lost with quotes sometimes. Okay, let's paste it in and then let's figure it out. Uh, so we'll have to do some escaping, I guess. So, and then that one, I hope. Image not found. Uh, what did I forget? Debbie and Jesse. What did I do wrong? Which image? Make sure the target image exists. Ah! No, I did pull it. Debbie and Jesse. I did pull the image. Um, hmm. What? Have I missed? Uh, make sure the target image already exists. It does exist. Is there a typo? Oh, God. Missed an eye. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see what happens. So they should hopefully optimize on node. Node not for, oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where was that list? Uh, oh, interesting. It should, I would have thought. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. Let's try with, I get the feeling that maybe quite a bit has changed in, um, in uh, some Docker images since some of this documentation was created. Let's just try with Ubuntu. It's not gonna optimize that much by the looks of it, but let's give it a go. Although I have a feeling that maybe it's not going to work because maybe Ubuntu is already stripping node, but let's see. Okay. Let's see. Node not found. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that's one more try. Get the feeling there's now probably actually an optimized um, 
optimized image already, which is interesting how that's changed, obviously. Um, yeah, you have to install it, but <laughs> so they've already kind of done a lot of optimization, interestingly. We could try with the arch one, I suppose. Um, yeah, that seemed to be heavier. Let's try with arch and just compare it to the other one. Uh, arch Linux latest is also a much more satisfyingly large. Okay, final try, here we go. Hopefully Arch comes with <laughs> Node. I mean, I guess. I guess this shows that a lot of people are following the best practices already because their image is already optimized. So in some respects, Docker Slim is kind of correct. <laughs> but unfortunately, I mean, I think the the uh, the the real use case here is your own Docker build images, not me just randomly plucking ones out of thin air. Um, Although Arch is big, good. So let's see. Fingers crossed that no, not found. Oh, <laughs> okay. <sighs> there was the uh, bom, 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 the um, I saw it here. The uh, node source one. I have actually interviewed them. I think. <laughs> Let's. Their one. Let's use theirs instead. And hopefully they haven't optimized things. Um, well, there's a lot here. Um, let's just let's just search instead. <laughs> Docker. Okay. Uh, whew, Docker images. There we go. Here we, which one should we pull? Um, so this one, although I always already wonder if this is, well, let's just go for the node source one. I've got a, what's Argon? Is that a version? Maybe we can just go for that. I have a feeling that this again may already be optimized, which is interesting. It started to highlight that, you know, I hope there is still, well, there is still a use case for Docker Slim when you're, yeah, when you're using your own build scripts, which is where it really comes from because you have a tendency just to throw things in as you're doing things and then you need to tidy up after yourself. So this is where it's really useful. But I don't really maintain any. That Veil one was probably the, oh, look at this. This is nice and big. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, we can end on a high note instead of 20 minutes of me fumbling around. Good. <laughs> okay. The fact it's even taking so long to download is a good sign. <laughs> In the meantime, whilst that's downloading, if you're enjoying watching me fumbling around on command line, then uh, you can find more about me at christianchiller.com. Subscribe wherever you're watching this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up on the video. Say hi. Uh, leave a comment or welcome. And uh, yeah, I do a couple of different videos each week. Here we go. Here it's done. So I can stop filling air now. Uh, let's have a look at that. I'm interested to see how big that is. Uh, what was it? Node source. 568 megabytes. Brilliant. Okay. Let's go for it. So I'm just going to call it uh, demo node. And... Um, that's what we want. Fingers crossed. Uh, what else can I share? Oh yeah. So whilst this is running, I have been actually to get some more seamless transitions using, oh, every time I'm about to fill air, it's done. Well, anyway, I'll show you. I've been using, um, oh, I'll show you another time. 
I've been using this uh, Elgato Stream Deck to get some more like seamless transitions on things. And I found it. And I, I've been using the iPad version. Actually, now I have a physical one. Anyway, you don't care. Uh, let's have a look. Um, five, six, eight, something or other. Two, wow, 31.51 megabytes. And let's see what happens. Um, I guess this is where, again, I start fumbling around with Docker commands. Docker run, rub, no, Docker run. No, not that one. <laughs> Demo node. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see what's the command. But anyway, that definitely worked well. Uh, we just need to, where did I have that? Oh, here we go. It's right here. So node. I mean, don't think that's going to work. No, well, firstly, we... Oh, it did. Oh, <laughs> I was too impatient. It did work. Brilliant. So look at that. We managed to get down that huge node image from... That was a good one to end on, finally, after all that fumbling. Uh, we got 568 down to 31. And you can go back through the video to see some of the other examples of what was happening there. I'm guessing... I'm actually intrigued now. Um, so um, if I look at the node source one, okay, slim x-ray target, I think we're going to see a lot of dependencies. No. Uh, oof, do, 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 do. Yes, so on. We're going to see a lot of dependencies in there probably. So anyway, as I was saying, now I have, look at this, behind the, behind the veil, I have a physical one. I haven't connected it though, because I've actually run out of USB ports right now. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's still going. Uh, so this is, the, this is the iPad version, it's quite cool. I don't know if you can see, there we go, so similar. I've actually got more buttons, but uh, I kind of liked having buttons to press. Okay, so let's have a look, and then we'll leave it there. <laughs> So what was in the image? 569 megabytes. Scroll down. A couple of commands. Work dear, makes sense. It's also fairly old. It's possibly, we're using a reasonably old version here, I guess, which is possibly not fair, but, uh, don't know what that is. <laughs> a whole bunch of absolutely oh you dev, yeah, wow, there's a lot of system inhibit, GNU libraries, Perl, Perl, <laughs> C libraries. Could we need that? Apt, I mean we may not need that. Locale files, system D, yeah, I mean USB drivers. Yes. Anyway, you get the idea. There's a lot there. GPG, yeah, you get the idea. So you get the idea, I think. Finally, we got to the end there. So I should point out, I think I did at the beginning, but I should make it a bit clearer that um, Docker Slim is the open source project. Slim.ai, kind of the maintainers behind Docker Slim are coming out with their own uh, product, which I will have another look at with the um, DevX5 stream and interview show at some point in the future. We have kind of been talking about that. Uh, but yeah, that was not that. They will be doing that. This was the Docker Slim, purely the example. And I guess they'll add a lot of visuals to these reports and things like that. So if you're interested in keeping up with that, go to slim.ai. If you're interested in the Docker Slim, then go to GitHub and docker-slim, docker-slim. Pretty easy. So just to recap again, that was me, Christian Scheller. If you've enjoyed that, I'll be back um, next week. Uh, I'm an hour late today. I'll be back at my usual time of 16.30 uh, Central European time. That's 2.30pm uh, UTC. 
I'm not quite sure what I'm going to demo yet. Um, we should be doing a DevX5 stream on Wednesday today at 3.30 p.m. UTC. I'm not quite sure what topic's going to be yet. I'm taking a couple of, a bit of a break from a few other shows because I'm reformatting a few things. Um, but there will be an episode of my weekly Squeak podcast coming out. Also, I've changed the name of it, Chinchilla Squeaks, this week as well. Still getting through my backlog of interviews from KubeCon. So you can find all of that and much more at kristenschiller.com. I hope you enjoyed that and do enjoy that. I know many of you come and watch these videos afterwards. Most of the time I live stream so I don't have to edit, to be honest with you. <laughs> but until next week, I have been Christian Schiller. This has been Hands On. I'll be back next week. And for the next week, enjoy yourself.